Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. Let's get right into it. All right, Geminis, you guys are starting off the month with the Four of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, the Ace of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups, the World Card, the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Wow, beautiful cards, uh, Gemini. Alrighty, my lovelies. So I definitely see travel for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you may be wanting, thinking, planning, or actually traveling for the month of November. With the Four of Pentacles, this is an indication of really, I see you guys like really putting money away or saving money, you know, for a rainy day. I see uh, opportunities to make money coming in, but I see you guys being very smart with your money. And that's definitely a good thing because they are showing me a lot of progress for you guys, especially for those of you guys that have been struggling financially. I see almost, um, almost like, a feeling very blessed, feeling like uh, you're starting to really see uh, the outcome of your hard work or your hard labor. Now, with the Lover's card here and the uh, Ace of Wands, I definitely do see passions being ignited for some of you guys. Now, this could be you being um, very interested, very like kind of obsessive uh, with an Earth energy. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn type of energy. Um, and, and I feel that th this person really has your attention. Like this could be a person that you're not necessarily dealing with, but it's someone that is in your surroundings. And this person uh, is very assertive. I think that uh, for the majority of you guys dealing with, uh, if you know exactly who I'm talking about, this is a person that is very like self-independent. This is a person that could be self-made. It could be a person that... Um, really you know has their own business or has been doing the you know their career for quite a while and again there's there's something very mysterious about them that i feel that you are very like really pulled towards them now with the nine of cups here this is emotional fulfillment coming to you guys um with the four of pentacles it's almost like a blessing being bestowed upon you for some of you guys this could be pregnancy uh, for others of you, especially those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I do see you guys taking this relationship to the next level. So for some of you guys, it could be um, making plans for the future. For others of you, it could be a conversation about moving in. For others of you, it could be a you know an actual engagement or embracing a new beginning because there is a child that's coming. Uh, so if you recently found out you're pregnant, currently pregnant, or your partner's pregnant, congratulations. Um, again, I do see almost like this, this transition that's happening with you guys. A lot of you guys really going to the next level. Um, if you've been dealing with the person for quite a while and it just seems like you don't really know where they stand right now, do not be surprised if in November they start talking about the future they start in you know including you in their future or they start talking about moving in or getting married that type of thing um i definitely see a theme here for you guys and what they're saying is that in regards to financial stability you're going to be experiencing that as well as the opportunities to find love for those of you guys that are single uh, i do see you guys by the end of this year really stabilizing either financially or in regards to love and romance um, we do have here the four of wands. This is, again, stability. This is all to do with uh, a celebratory type of energy. You're feeling like you're being blessed, like finally the universe is bringing to you uh, someone that is matching your energy. So again, for those of you guys that are single, you won't be single very long. Um, what they're saying here as well is here with the queen of swords, it's very important to... Um, really put focus and energy on what you're wanting to do. So what I mean by that is it's going to be crucial for you guys from now all the way to the end of this year uh, to really be clear and concise on what you're wanting 
either to manifest what you're wanting to work towards, especially when we're talking about relationships here, okay? Because I do see multiple opportunities coming to you guys, and this may represent here a person that's coming to you with genuine intentions of something stable and something long-term, but right at the center, you may be tempted as well uh, going towards or leaning more towards an individual that's very exciting, someone that you feel an immediate connection with, but they may not be ready or they may not be prepared or as mature as the type of energy you're trying to invite. So just be mindful about that, okay? If there's an individual that really makes you, uh, you know, weaken the knees or your heart flutter, uh, be very cautious about that because that usually indicates, you know, just our body reacting to physical attraction versus, you know, really giving yourself the opportunity or opening yourself up to love and to get to know someone before you actually, you know, feel all of these things. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.